Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking and comparing two of the leading click fraud prevention software for Google Ads, which are ClickSees, which you can see right here, and ClickGuard. They're both great software and it can be difficult to distinguish between the two. So in this video, I will be doing exactly that. So let's dive right in. Um, here we have the dashboard, which you can access right there. So it shows you a lot of great information about your account, ad clicks, blocked IPs, uh, etc. So you can see um, by country. And the first thing I want to look at is the rules that you can set for both platforms since that's the major component. You can see these are all the different rules. Um, both platforms have very similar rules, uh, while you know one platform has a few rules that the other one doesn't. So, so it's all about trying to figure out, you know, are these rules important and uh, is it worth the added cost, right? So with ClickSees, uh, we have uh, these rules right here and they, they have this feature which um, ClickGuard does not have where you choose your industry and they suggest uh, the rules that you should apply. Um, like I said, ClickGuard doesn't have that. You have to set it manually, which is not a big deal. And I find it, you know, that you need to figure out based on each each account what rules should be applied as opposed to trusting them, even though the suggestions are pretty good. So you can see the rules we have set up right here. It says allow up to two ad clicks within 10 minutes. So that's what it's going to show to different IPs. If you get more than uh, two clicks within 10 minutes, it'll block off that IP and prevent them from seeing your ad. And you can set how long you want to block off these IPs. You can say you know, one day or 30 days, right? In both in both, uh, both of these platforms. And then we have another one, allow uh, up to three clicks within seven days and then allow four ad clicks within 30 days, right? So that's what we're doing uh, for this particular client. Um, you can detect IPs based on the device, you can turn, leave that on. You can block off everybody from, that uh, from other countries and only allow from a certain country. You cannot block off based on a city or postal code level and both platforms have that limitation. Um, you, they both have VPN blocking and, and proxies. Uh, this right here is a very great feature, uh, behavior analysis. Both platforms have behavior analysis which blocks off IPs based on different behavior on the site like time on site. So here we have if somebody spends less than five seconds on the site, we block them, you can change that. Um, with ClickGuard, they actually have the ability to, um, you can see visitor behavior here, they have the ability to block off based on page views um, and ClickSees does not have that ability. And um, so those are going to be the main features. Now what ClickSees has that ClickGuard doesn't is to actually look at uh, your, your behavior off your, off your various visitors. So um, where is it here? I believe it's right here. Here it is. So you can see here, these are, this is the fraud reports that they provide, shows you um, all the different IPs. And uh, what this does is it actually records the interaction of your various visitors. So you can actually play the recording. It'll actually record interactions on the site. It'll show you, um, you know, which user agent they use, the screen size, etc., which is great. And what you can do here is manually uh, block off certain interactions that you know after viewing them you see that they're suspicious and you can see the ones that are blocked you can take that off if, if you don't think uh, it's it's accurate right so I think that's really powerful uh, click guard does not have this so if we go go here um, I'm going to show you how this looks this is their dashboard so you can go uh, click reports and look at their uh, their reports you can see how they show it you can't play uh, the, the interaction um, it shows you all the different things, the IP, if it converted. So you can, on both platforms, you can set up rules based on conversions. So you can say you want to block off all IPs that didn't convert, for example, um, or that clicked multiple times and didn't convert. You can block those off so you can see what they show, where they're coming from, um, and things like this. Let me go back to the rules here so you guys can see the rules in ClickGuard. Sorry, it's right here. So, so these are the different uh, rules that you can apply. So you can block IP or device that makes more than two clicks within one hour. So same thing with ClickSees, you can do the same thing, block IP or device that makes more than three clicks within one day, week, month. So we have the same rule applied there. Here um, they offer 
IP and device. Uh, I've spoken to, to ClickSees and they said that it's impossible to block by device and that uh, ClickSees has their own, own method. Um, and also, another thing, ClickGuard has an article, ClickGuard versus ClickSees. So they have uh, some things right here that they mention. I've brought this up with ClickSees and they said, th this was their answer, whoa, this was written by ClickGuard team. I'm really sorry to say this, but they should be ashamed of what they try to do. This is all a lie. We have all these features and many more. Um, to be honest, the main difference between ClickSees and ClickGuard are actually huge. I will tell you some of the most important ones. We have session recordings. They don't. Uh, we use it to dynam dynamically test fraud. So this is, a, this is a great feature. We provide conversion tracking. They don't. Um, they do. So uh, this is not true. And we provide refund claims to Google. They don't. So um, that's going to be the major one. And I can verify this. Um, you can see conversion. So you can actually set up block IPs that is not converting. So I'm not sure why they said that. It seems like they're both kind of skewing it. So that's why I can't be trusted. And that's why I'm making this video. So I can show you these differences. Uh, you can see block IPs making invalid clicks. Block IPs that make more than one invalid click within one hour. Um, multiple targets. We're not using any of these rules. Uh, known threats, block IPs by proxy. So both of them have that capability. Essentially, they're identifying VPNs and proxy bots and blocking them out. And they have their own proprietary technology to do this. Uh, geolocation, same thing. We can block off anybody that's coming uh, from you know a certain country. So in this case, we're only sh we're only uh, showing ads to people from Canada and blocking off everybody else. Once again, they can't we can't do it on a city level. And visitor behavior. Um, I believe I showed you this, so I think this is pretty cool. You know, you can block off whoever uh, doesn't click on any additional pages. You can also do time on site, which ClickSees also has. Block IP by website interactions. ClickSees does not have this, where um, block IP that makes more than one ad click within one day, where, inter where interaction level is no interaction or low interaction. Bot, bot probability, so they both have that. Click intensity, uh, we're not using this for any of the clients. So um, so there you have it. That's essentially it. Um, both platforms are great with regards to price. Uh, ClickGuard is the more expensive platform um, than ClickSees. And uh, you can ask them to give you a custom price, which is based on the quantity of accounts and the amount of clicks. And just to take you to the dashboard of ClickSees so you can see what that looks like. The beautiful dashboard shows you the different uh, fraud type. And there you have it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you guys found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Take care.